new Fred Anderson Honda, the family store. Welcome back to For the Record. Joining me now is Derek Lewis, Executive Director of Greenville County First Steps. Talk to me a little bit about what is First Steps. So Greenville First Steps funds programs to help kids get ready for kindergarten. So we fund parenting programs, access to child care, and access to early literacy programs. And most of what we fund, we fund with the United Way. So together we pool our funds to help stretch our dollars. So are we talking about like K-4? Yeah, so we, we fund parenting programs. So we've got a newborn home visiting program that visits families um, while they're in the hospital okay. and then offers to visit them as soon as they get home from the hospital, all the way up to four-year-old kindergarten programs. So kind of parenting and child care. I would imagine this is something everyone needs. Yeah, child care is a real challenge. Um, and in Greenville County, it is, it is getting worse. Our, our community is growing and the number of child care providers is not. Um, and so it is, it's going to be a, an even larger problem as we get to those kind of 2040 growth projections. Mm -hmm. well, uh, educating a child, those first steps, starts even before the, the, the child is here. How do, you, how do you and your organization handle that amount of need? Yes, yeah, so there would be um, almost impossible for us to serve every family with just the resources that First Steps has. And so most of what we do, we do in partnership with the United Way. And so Family Connects, the newborn home visiting program, we were able to get a grant from the United Way. We took that grant, matched it with some First Steps dollars. Mm -hmm. That made it possible for us to draw down a million dollars from the Duke Endowment and a million dollars from Medicaid. And together, all those pots of money, which really yeah. started with individual gifts to the United Way, are what we use to, to create this team of nurses to these home visits. Mm -hmm. And our hope is that as that program continues to show success, families start understanding where they can get, um, maybe they can get formula, or they learn where they can find a crib, or they learn where to find quality childcare, that we'll be able to expand that program across the state, really based on a pilot that we did here. Yeah, and what you are doing the payoff there sure there's an instant payoff for the parents uh with getting formula like you said and so on but there's also a payoff down the road too because if the child is able to get ahead right then further in life the whole community benefits oh there's i mean there's so many positive outcomes just from that newborn home visiting program if we can reduce the number of children that use the emergency room mm -hmm. as their primary source of health care then that frees up emergency room beds when you need one right mm -hmm. if we can make sure that families are reading to their children as infants then when they get to 4k they've been exposed to books and they've been exposed to literacy and language so it's not as steep of a learning curve for them when they get to four-year-old kindergarten yeah. so we can make it easier for everybody what do you say to that person who's at home watching right now and says my kids are grown I don't I, I don't how why would I give or why do I need to know about first steps yes I would say there are 6,000 babies born in Greenville County every year um, and so if your children have passed that age where you're having to pay for child care I bet you know the pain of that experience True. and maybe you could help another family that's now kind of coming up and experiencing that I know when when my kid was an infant uh, yeah. child care costs were about half of what they are now yeah. um, and so we're talking about two hundred and fifty dollars a week that parents are paying for infant care and that on top of their mortgage it's just it's almost impossible possible for a family to to make the choice to return to work and find quality child care and and find a home so there's just a whole new generation of, of children that that can use our help and every generation it gets more and more expensive yeah and it's 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 really hard I mean I we I, we, I was at Hughes the other day where our, where our sons go to school mm -hmm. um, and a teacher came up to me and just said look I I need to renew my contract to teach here next year I now have a three-year-old mm -hmm. and there is no child care around the school mm -hmm. and where we live there's no child care so now that teacher is having to make a decision do I leave the workforce which is going to make that even harder to replace right. or do I pay for child care that's way on the other side of town because I can't 
I can't find childcare near my home or near where I work. So it's, it's a problem that's going to affect all of us in some way. If police officers can't find childcare, they can't come to work. Firefighters can't come to work. I mean, there's, there's whole sectors of our community yeah. that affect you even if you don't have children that won't be able to go to work if they can't find quality child care. Wow. So, uh, to that person who maybe, you, that we talked about earlier, who maybe my kids are grown, why do I need to know about this now? Let's say they want to help or they want to give. How do they do that? Yes, I would say there's th really three things people can do. One is to support the United Way because the United Way really works hand in hand with First Steps and some of the other partners you're going to hear about today um, to see what we can do to solve these problems. How can we grow child care in innovative and creative ways? How can we incubate uh, in-home child care system? Mm -hmm. um, but also look at your church and see, is your church offering child care? Because if you've got Sunday school classrooms, that aren't yeah, being true. used Monday through Friday, then if you give a call to First Steps or the United Way, we could coach you on how to equip those facilities to, to be able to offer child care with a, w that's high quality and is, and is accessible. Oh, yeah. um, and the other one is if you work in a business and your employer doesn't offer child care on site, why don't they? Yeah. Um, because it's probably really important to them that you show up for work. Mm -hmm. And so how do we help employers think about on-site child care? These are all things that the United Way and First Steps is, is working on on a, on a daily basis together. I think there are a lot of viewers at home right now who are like, huh, that's a good idea. I may call my boss or, you know, do something. We'll take all of them. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing your story Thank as you. well. Still to come on For the Record, we'll hear from the Institute for Child Success. They say